Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Guess what? I went to the Christmas tree shop. <laughs> um, my sister, I don't know if you know, I went to New York uh, for a, um, uh, a funeral. Um, and my sisters uh, said, you drove because you wanted to go to the Dollar Tree and bring stuff home. And I was like, no, nah, I missed the Christmas tree shop. So <laughs> we went to the Christmas tree shop in the Deer Park outlets on Long Island, um, which is where I'm from. I'm not from Deer Park, I'm from Long Island. Um, and I got some things. It's all a mismatch in here, so forgive me. Um, I'll try to put the prices here. I might just videotape the receipt. I still am having a little difficulty editing um, and seeing the camera. So let me show you what I got. And if I know a price, I'll tell you because a lot of them I remember. Um, this is a cocoa or core, depends on who you talk to, Matt, C-O-I-R. It was $6.99. They came in all different um, uh autumn and Halloween uh, designs. I couldn't think of the word designs. Uh, they're nice and thick. They're great for getting mud off. But I picked this one because first of all, it looks like a chalkboard, but thankful, grateful, and blessed does not have to be just for one time a year. You can always be thankful, grateful, and feel blessed. Um, so I picked that up. That was $6.99. Oh, sorry. I found this wreath on clearance and I know it looks like it's seen better days. There was a Christmas clearance area. I think it's probably missing its bow, but it has all this great cotton on it. It was originally $14.99 and it said the, the summer stuff, I'm sorry, same Christmas clearance, but summer clearance. It said the summer clearance was 50% off. So I asked them how much it would be because I said to my sister, Alicia, if it says $7.50, it's really a lot of cotton in a wreath form for $7.50. It ended up being half of that, it was $3. And 49 cents. It's actually cheaper than that. $3.49 is even less than half. Less than 75% off. $3.49 is probably that is 70% off. 15 times 3. No, it's two. No, it's not. It's like 80% off. But even more. I don't know. Whatever. But she said $3.49. So I paid $3.49 for it. So it's got a really nice wide wreath. It's got all this cotton wired on it, plus these great vines and stuff. As you can actually see that this is like, they're two different pieces. There is a section missing here, but I don't care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Frankenstein it anyway. Um, Jim picked up these lights, and they're not lights, excuse me. It's a screaming doormat. We used to have one at 481 when you stepped on it, it went whoa. But this one, I thought it had the price on it, but we'll find the price. This is a screaming doormat. It says try me, but the button's backwards. He didn't get one that worked, did he? It basically says all the things. <laughs> um, it says, just place under your doormat and it's screaming in thunder. Enter at your own risk. Welcome to the haunted house. I just want to see if it had a I thought that was fun. He was like, I'm not going to get it because we're probably not going to have any trick-or-treaters this year. I'm like, but when will we back at the Christmas tree shop? Just get it and you can put it up with your Halloween stuff for next year. That's us Um, I got oh, sorry. these great Halloween plates. I actually got a set for my niece, Katie, to take back to Las Vegas. She's got her own apartment. She's really into like um, she's a tattoo artist. She's an artist. She's the makeup artist. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram and I've shared lots of stuff. She's an amazingly beautiful human being. Um, but these were so me as well. So I picked them up for me and a set for her. They were each $1 and 
I got one of each for me and one of each for her and they're a set of four. So this one has a gray pumpkin with some like lavender colored or mauve colored roses. So pretty. This sticker comes off by the way. This is about the collection. I got this one, it's got a skull with some spider webs in the back. And like I said, they're just $1. They're melamine, like plastic. This one I love, it's like a Black Widow. Or it's a spider, I mean, you know. It looks like Black Widow's detailing, it's just not colored. Um, so, it's this beautiful spider on a spider web. And the last one is probably one of my, well, they're all my favorites. It's got a crow on it. You just know I love birds, so I picked up those four as well. Um, I love to get this coffee at the don't at the Christmas tree shop. It's so inexpensive. But they didn't have any big boxes of donut shop. They only had big boxes of like strong roasts. And I'm not a really strong roast person when it comes to K-Cups. But you know, I don't like to spend too much money on K-Cups. I mostly, if I, if they're gonna be more, like the most I'll spend is three for a dollar. I got 42 for 11.99, which makes them less than that. <laughs> um, which makes them almost 25 cents each. A little bit, little bit more than 25 cents each. I could do math for you, but that would be difficult. Um, they had it in all different flavors. They didn't have any decaf, which is what my sister was looking for. Um, but they did have this, and I picked up the donut shop. Um, you actually get 80 for like 20, $22, 80 for $20 maybe. But they were, like I said, they only had 80 in the really strong roast. Um, Jimmy wanted these. He picked up two packs of these pumpkin cheesecake cookies by Pepperidge Farm. You guys give me a hard time about not supporting him in his diet and buying junk food. Well, I don't have to. He does it himself. <laughs> but um, he picked up two of these. He actually bought a pack here and fell in love with them and picked up two more. And my sister Jane was like, no, Jim, I got a pack of those uh, to try. And she's like, he's like, no, I'm, I'm, I said, no, he's buying them, like not to try. For $3.99. He got pumpkin spice purulene cookies. If you guys love purulines, um, I'm actually gonna pilfer some to put at the coffee bar when um, Thanksgiving comes. I'm excited um, to celebrate. I'm excited to celebrate anything. <laughs> Just to celebrate again. Um, let's see. I got some things on the clearance section. I also got some things. Let me just, give me a second. One thing I'd like to share with you, I got this dollar bag. It's this great, like, blue-green, teal-blue uh, pickup truck with pumpkins in the back and milk cans and stuff um, with the barn in the back. I love it. Um, it was uh, a dollar, but this one happens to be ripped already, which I don't think is a huge deal because I was kind of like... I like to collect them, but it, you know, you can also fix them easy. So, um, I picked up these two. These were a dollar each. I was like, totally would pay a dollar for these at the Dollar Tree. They're 100% fabric, including their little stems are made out of felt and their leaves and their stuffed pumpkins. This one has got this really great black and orange plaid, which to me may seem Halloween to some, but to me it's autumn because that's what I do. And then this one's got this really great textured fabric. Do you see that? I don't know how else to describe it except great texture. Um, and again, it's got its little wiry tendril and its little felt um, stem. So I got those. Um, now I got a couple of things on clearance. Just two I found. Um, these are guest towels is what I use them. Is that what they call them? They just call them napkins, but I use these as guest towels in my guest room, um, in my bathroom, excuse me. Um, and I use them for like hand towels so people could throw out if they want to use a paper towel instead. These are pretty. They have a black and white bottom. It's really pretty lime green background and a cross on it. And it says celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. And they were 47 cents. Yep. You get 15 in there and you know, sometimes I pick them up at the Dollar Tree and you get 16 for a dollar. So. Um, this was $2.48. I was originally $4.99. It 
it is mega chipped. However, I will tell you a couple things. Um, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> it really doesn't because this is something that we would lo make look chipped anyway. So this is a uh, an enamel cup. It's got the gray sponging, a gray edge, um, and a farm on it that says Farm Fresh, like a sticker on it that says Farm Fresh. And it's all chipped up, look. I think they sold it because it's all rusty and chipped up. That's the only reason I can think it was on clearance. But I don't know that I'll actually even use it for a cup. I might just use it for decor. But even if I didn't want to use it for a cup, it's you can drink out of it because grandpa would have, why not, right? Um, but I just love it. It says it's made in China. It's by Madison Studios in New York. Dishwasher safe, but do not microwave. So I picked that up. I just thought that was so cute. I was like, even if I use it for like to hold straws one day or like the spoons or whatever, I just think it's super cute. So I want to get it. Um, I found just a random, like Lisa had given me this uh, spray um, antibacterial hand sanitizer in a spray and we've just about used it all but this is actually like thick I don't actually know how you even spray this if you spray it do you spray it yeah I don't even know that you're supposed to spray this it actually might have even gotten like dried out like maybe I have to add more alcohol to it or something so it's not so thick um, I'm going to read the directions. Jimmy wanted to pick it up because the other one's almost empty. It was $1.99. Now that I'm looking at it, it probably is not worth $1.99. But we picked that up. And it's glass. It's not a plastic bottle. These I found. I thought they were so nice. Well, before I show you that, I'll show you Jimmy got some Twinings of London Spiced Apple Tea for $2.99. You know, he loves his tea and we love twinings. Um, but I found these, these were $1.49 each and they're very primitive and I just love them. They came with different sayings and I'll show you which ones I got. I got <laughs> faith, hope, and love, not in that order. <laughs> um, I think they're so pretty. They're very primitive, like I said. They're like thick, chunky wood. They're $1.49 each. They stand up. They had faith, hope, love, believe, blessings, family, friends, live, love, laugh. Like you could con really do all different combinations of whatever you want to say. And they were in different colors. So I got one green, one black, and one red. You were able to mix them up as well. I just thought they were super pretty, super worth $1.50. Um, so I picked them up as well. Now, I mean, if I had like a jigsaw table and I could cut my own wood, no. It still might not be worth $1.50. Um, I'm going to move you for a second because the camera. This is the other bag that I picked out. Um, it's got crabs on it. It says fresh catch served on the beach. And it's got red, white, and blue with crabs. And those of you, most of you know... I grew up on Long Island and we had crabs. I used to tell everybody all the time, my dad would say, how do you feed eight people with one chicken leg? Throw it in a crab trap. So here is Jimmy's second pack of cookies. They say $3.89, but I think that they were cheaper. And I, like I said, if I, um, if I can remember to put the price on there, I will. So I'm doing this now because my mother-in-law is out. But I found her a queen size set of Sunbeam fleece sheets. Um, I don't know if you guys ever tried fleece sheets before. She is a very cold nature human being. Um, I thought that they could be for her birthday, which is in... So sorry. I thought they could be for her birthday, which is in November, just in time for it to get cold. But Jimmy was saying maybe we'll give them to her early because it got a little cold a little fast here. I found this really pretty harvest um, blessing sign. It's really such a great size. Um, it is like vinyl on this side and flannel on the back. So it almost like a tablecloth, like those washable tablecloths. Um, it's got this great green ribbon, this beautiful like um, 
I'm sorry, this beautiful like burnt red and yellow um, check with a sunflower and a fake rope. Uh, pumpkins of all shapes and sizes with a wheelbarrow and the matching detail on the bottom. There's a stick in the bottom and the top, so it's weighted. And it was $4.99, probably at the very edge of what I would pay for it, if that makes any sense. Um, but I like that it's like sewn and the stick won't come out at the bottom and it's glued and the stick won't come out at the top. So you could also change the green ribbon if you don't like it, but I really do. So I'm just gonna leave it. So I got that. This was at the register, like somebody had put it down and I had seen that they had row pillows that were $7.99. And I was like, well, you can usually get nice throw pillows for $5 at Walmart. So what would be the extra $3 I would pay for? If it had an um, tapestry gnome on it, um, it says happy harvest. There's all these cute little tapestry. I mean, it's tapestry, but it's all these cute little gnomes at the bottom. It's got this dark burnt orange on the back, but it is really a full pillow. Like the ones you get from Walmart, I feel like are very not stuffed very well. Um, excuse me. So for three more dollars, I thought this was totally worth it. Um, of course, also the other thing I always say like, so this is $7.99. So this was $8. If this pillow, this exact pillow could be at Kirkland's for $25 or Pier 1 if Pier 1 was still around where you live. So I got that as well. I just think it's so cute. They're going to sit back here until we're done. I got a couple of things for Katie that I took pictures of, so I'll share them with you now. Um, I picked her out a towel, um, two towels actually, but I picked her out a towel that I didn't get for myself. Um, I just thought they were super cute, totally Katie. And then I found these cute little like table art is what I call them when they have these little wood things that stand. Um, I call them table art. I know we like to make our own potions bottles and apothecary bottles, but I just thought that these were really pretty and for the price, I couldn't pass it up. Um, they were $1.49 each. This one is this really dark, it's really dark green. I know it's hard to tell without light behind it, but it's really dark green. And this one is sort of like this red um, blood color. Um, the, this one says poison owl droppings. <laughs> And this one says, um, Wicked Old Hag Snake Oil. <laughs> Genuine. Uh, good for man or beast. So I, I thought they were really cute. I like that they have like a dark uh, black jute rope around here and corks. They both came with their own corks, which are removable. Um, they already have their labels on. I just have to peel the stickers off the back and I can do whatever I want with them. Um, I would pay $1.50 for these because I would buy the bottles blank at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and then I would have to like print out my own labels and make my own thing and maybe make my own cork. Sometimes they come with cork, sometimes they don't. So all of that to be considered plus your time. You have to think about stuff like that. So Katie, I bought um, the towel that you see with the Ouija. I know that that's got a name for it and it just ran out of my head. I know you guys will let me know in the comments down below, but it's the stylus that you move around for the Ouija board. And um, I bought her one of these and I got myself one too. It's just a gray waffle weave towel with an embroidered skull with roses around it. I just thought that was so perfect for me. Um, these were, this one was $1.29. Then when I was walking back to my sister's after the bathroom, I passed by this big, metal basket display of hand towels and i kid you not these two were sitting on top um and they both had h's on them so i was like okay i didn't even have to shop for them they were just sitting right on top so this one is a great pumpkin that's embroidered around an h so the h actually isn't embroidered it is just missing like if that makes any sense you know if that's the towel um it's got this great black and white check on the bottom and it's a like cotton sack cloth type of towel. I love the little green accents as well. And then this one was just right up by Ali again with a black and white check bottom. It's got a red H and a rooster on it. Very French country from my kitchen. Um, so I picked those up as well. And the last two, I saved my favorites for last. 
I actually said to Jim, so I started this, a new collection. That sounds weird. But I started this kind of new collection around Christmas time of like little cutting boards. When I lived at um, in New York, I actually had a wooden cutting board for the life of me. Cannot find it. I have no idea where it went. I don't know if it fell into floodwaters and I threw it out. Sometimes some of the things were just a blur. Um, but it was like a it was like the shape of a Dollar Tree cutting board, but bigger, thicker, and made out of wood. Um, but that is no longer in existence. So what I did was I bought um, a, on uh, Beth Beth Me On on clearance, I bought a Missouri license plate that says like show me on it, and it's a cutting board. And then I bought a map of Missouri that actually has Rolla on it, which I thought was pretty cool. And that's in like a little basket. And then when I was in, on my way down to Texas last time, I bought a cutting board that was the shape of the United States um, and that I have like set up, but I thought these were really cute. All of that to tell you this. Um, the big one was $4.99 and the little one was $2.99. And I thought they were so adorable and beautiful and of course usable. I mean, they are cutting boards. Um, you just wash them, you treat them with oils. There's actually, no, there's no care instructions on here. I thought there was care instructions on here. Maybe on the other ones. They had it in one more other size, but I just wanted the small and the big. Um, there was a medium size, so um, I love them. I love them. I love the way they look. I think I just want them to stand for um, a display, but I might use them I, here or there. It really doesn't make a difference. It's my choice. It's my business, and I thought that they were super cute, and I wanted to get those. So that's everything from the Christmas tree shop. Um, again, that this Christmas tree shop was in... Um, Deer Park, Long Island, um, in the outlets at Deer Park. I, it's Tanger Outlets, but I think, uh, I forget the name of them. It's not the crossings, because that's one from Poconos. But anyway, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody who might be interested in seeing what I got at the Christmas tree shop. By the way, this was $19.99. I forgot to tell you that. I'm put them away now because I can't believe they're coming. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anyway, you might be interested in going to the Christmas tree shop or seeing what they have. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. When you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye.